Hello, friend, and thanks for joining me. I'm Reverend Anna, the Senior Minister of Unity of Austin, and I want to share some thoughts with you about this idea, what matters most. This is from the Gospel of Matthew 16, verses 15 through 18, and this is Jesus talking to the disciples. And he said to them, but who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered, you're the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. And I tell you, you're Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. And here we have a, a writing from Charles Fillmore, the co-founder of our unity movement, and it's from his book, The Twelve Powers of Man. He writes, but no one lives by reflection. You could not live a moment if it were not for this only begotten son of the father within you. You cannot live and grow on the reflected light of Jesus of Nazareth. The only begotten son of God must come forth in you as it did in Jesus. Then your life will be permanent and the discords of the flesh will drop away forever. Then will your Sabbath be revealed to you. What a mighty work the Christ consciousness has done in, through, and as us over the last eight years. Consciousness has shifted. Change has taken place. We have grown. Spiritual understanding has deepened. Transformation has occurred. And as we well know, not by magic. We have been through thick and thin, ups and downs, harmonious and not so harmonious times. We have lived richly and accomplished much. Did we get it all done? Is everything perfect? Of course not. That's not how life works. Life is an upward, progressive, ever-expanding process. What matters most is that we have learned what matters most. We grow through doing what challenges us. The joys of life and the rewards come from doing the things that push us beyond where we've been before. As we meet what seems impossible, we are impelled to become more fully, more deeply, who we really are. We find that within us is the very life and power of God. The Star Trek character Data knows that it's in making the journey that we become the destination we were seeking. He said, we must strive to be more than we are. Though it does not matter that we never reach our goal, the effort yields its own rewards. This is how we know that we spent our time and energy in a worthwhile way. We can look back and see that we have expanded ourselves and our lives. We see that we are happier, healthier, richer, more loving, more aware, more awake people than we were when we began. We are living and expressing more of our innate God nature and receiving more of the good of life and circulating that good. We are more a part of living. We are participating. We are actively co-creating fuller lives with God. How have we accomplished this change and growth? As a community, we've had the courage to seek and find the living Christ within us, to see with spiritual eyes. As the Apostle Peter, no outer authority has told us about the reality of the Christ. We have lived our own experience. We know that God works through us for good. It is with a heart full of love and gratitude for each of you and for the precious journey we've undertaken that I now release the role of Senior Minister of Unity of Austin so that we each have the time and space to establish our new life experiences, I must make myself scarce from the church and church activities. As I move into the next phase of my life and expression of ministry through writing and teaching, you too are moving into your next expansion of Christ Conscious Community. What a celebration we'll have this Sunday of all that God has done through us in our time together. We've learned what matters most. 
And that is what we are each and all taking into our future. God bless you in the love and the light of the risen Christ.